All right, good morning. Another quick update on the Badger Valley Railroad. Last couple weeks I have uh, been working down at that end of the layout. Uh, laid down some uh, clump foliage from Woodland Scenics. Uh, to the non-model railroaders, it's all just it ground up foam dyed up. Dyed different colors. I used a dark green, medium green, and light green. Uh, put uh, almost equal amounts of each color in the box. Uh, mixed it all up by hand to get it all mixed up, all three colors. Um, any big pieces I picked down with my fingers and tried to make them all uniform. Not too much though, you know what I mean? Gotta have some big pieces in there. And I like the looks of it so much that I continued on. And I've gone over some existing scenery that I've already done. Um, that scenery was down here. That's why I did most of my mountains like the first time. To get the first coverage on. Uh, that method was just simply painting earth tone color and then sifting on some woodland scenics. Oh, fine turf, I guess. Uh, a couple different colors mixed up. I used a, uh, some small pieces of clump foliage. But I white glued them on. It took forever for them to stick. And I just stumbled across the how-to video. And some guy was using 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. And the stuff is amazing. You can spray it on old existing scenery. Give it a couple minutes and, you know, throw some clump foliage against it and it'll just stick. This stuff, like I said, it's amazing. Super grip. Um, any of the small pieces that fall off that don't stick, which are more than likely on top of the other uh, foliage that's already stuck, so there's no, they can't get to no glue. Um, I'm going to take my shop vac, clean it out, clean the filter out, and I'm going to vacuum up all the loose stuff so I can reuse it. I won't waste it. And then I'm going to pick a day here next week, probably next weekend. Uh, I'm going to take a mixture of uh, what we call wet water. It's uh, water and a cap full of alcohol. That's what I use anyways. Some guys use a, a couple drops of dishwashing liquid in a spray bottle of water. And they'll go around and they'll wet all the scenery. And then they'll come behind it with another spray bottle of 50-50 mix of uh, Elmer's glue and water. And I'll spray it right over it, let it soak in and it dries, and then nothing's going to move. And that's what I'm going to do after I get done going around here, adding all the clump foliage with uh, the 3M stuff. And uh, it, it'll be just super stuck, man. I've carried, like I said, I've carried a look around here behind the engine house. And that's as far as I got. I'm going to finish the rest up today. I'm going to start sticking some foliage right here along the backdrop. Uh, we use some finer, smaller stuff here in the foreground down here. We use some smaller stuff there. I'm going to leave patches of grass. I'm going to leave some open spots so I can stick some more trees in there. And I'm going to come down here and touch up this end with a clump foliage. And then what I'd like to do is uh, I'll let it dry for today. Uh, while it's drying, I'm going to do some work on the ethanol plant. I'm going to get some uh, uh, some scenery done there, lay down some earth color, cover up that blue uh, insulation so it doesn't look so, you know, under construction. And then tomorrow I'm going to pull up all the tape. Like I said, I'll shop vac. I'm going to clean the uh, track. And I'm going to run some trains uh, through the new scenery. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Well, that's a quick little update for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned.